Jaco Melbourne, 24K here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. New breed of mini homes from Jaco, guys. Uh, they broke their mold. They are uh, they were willing to adapt and evolve and, and change things around. And uh, this is on a Mercedes chassis. They've broken away from the Ford chassis on these mini homes and moved to a, a Mercedes 3500 Sprinter style chassis. Um, runs, moves, rides like a dream it is so smooth handling down the road. That all makes sense. That's always been a big thing with Jayco, so it made sense they went that route on these little guys. Uh, with the uh, the J-Ride packages they put on their bigger Class Cs and Class As, it, it just made sense. It's a natural marriage. What's nice is you see a lot of that same mentality floating over here into these Melbournes. For instance, the way that they do their nose cap. All seamless nose cap. So you don't have to worry about uh, water failure. If I take a used Class C in, it's not if, but where is the leak in that front cap? And you don't have that problem here because there are no seams for that to be an issue. Similar, you have uh, like a, a solid sealed wall here versus like a, uh, a seamed wall essentially. Um, big patio awning to you. It's about a, uh, I don't know, 16, 18 foot awning. You couldn't put a bigger one on here. And it uh, does have LED lighting built right into the tube of the awning. I think it's cool when they do that because you can use the uh, power awning to uh, angle which way those lights are facing so you're, they're not blinding you. We've got a nice, shiny, glossy skin right here. You can obviously see reflections going on in it. And frameless windows just to seal off that unbeatable exterior look. Um, frameless windows look super cool. Uh, they also hide the seal under the window pane. And you notice those are UV tinted windows. You can't just see inside them easily. Don't know if you spotted that big blue number two. That is the indicator that this, like all Jayco's, carries pretty much double the warranty of most anything else in this class. This is a two year bumper to hitch warranty. Um, I believe, I have to double check on the Mercedes chassis. I know in the Ford chassis it's 24,000 miles. I would be shocked if they didn't stay consistent with that. Although that being said, the, the number of miles you put on a motorhome is kind of laughable. You're not going to put enough miles on this to wear out the warranty unless you're that 1% of people that lives to die to travel, you know. Um, the uh, exterior storage here is solid. Actually, before we get there, point out just the uh, the enclosed docking center. This is all enclosed out of the uh, out of the elements, out of the wind, so that this will give you better extended season RVing. Not to mention the fact uh, this is a, uh, a locking door right here. It doesn't use the same key as everybody else, so you don't have to worry about some you know snot nosed kid coming through the park and playing with your dump valves. Uh, the entire rear section here is a full side-to-side -side pass through with rear access and you notice that we're not carpeting this this is all the nice rubberized diamond plate so you don't have as much issue with cargo shift um, this is a 30 amp coach by the way um, it's not big enough that they needed to put a second air on and we specifically uh, made efforts to keep this as cool as possible by giving it a white skin um, that's that was a choice we made here at our dealership so that you can take this thing into the very hottest of climates and that, uh, that air conditioner is going to keep up no problem. Now what's cool is we've got a 24 foot coach, but you're getting an extra two and a half roughly feet here on the back side because the rear bed slides out. So the bed's not eating up a lot of the floor space like it normally would. You've got a 5,000 pound hitch on the back right here, all wired up with seven way plugs. So uh, if you want to throw a brake controller on it, it's all pre-wired to do so. And uh, you, you'll have no trouble uh, doing some towing with this right here. Um, all LED tail lights, and if, on the clear lens here, you can easily see the elements. So you don't got to worry about your tail lights going out on you and kind of causing trouble. Um, you know, years of experience help build this product right here, like above that rear slide. There's actually a double rain gutter so that uh, you can help keep the rain, um, you know, shifted away from everything. By the way, right below those top marker lights, I don't know how well we're going to see it here. There is a, a backup camera system that auto engages the moment you shift into reverse. Not uncommon in motorhomes by any stretch, but I do like to point out that it's there because it is not necessarily found on every single thing out there, especially in mini homes and big coaches. Sure. Um, what do we got here? Onan generator, Onan 3600 um, LP generator, LP, not uh, not gasoline. So propane runs. You know what I like about propane generators? If you let this thing sit for nine months, it'll fire up. It just, it doesn't get gummed up with bad gas like a gas generator will. Gas generator, you have to very frequently, periodically, just fire it up and let it run through its paces. We don't really think about that a lot because we're used to driving gasoline cars all the time. But gasoline's not good to sit. It has to stay stirred up and it has to stay used and fresh. It almost, in that sense, has like an expiration date in a way. Um, a lot of these mini homes are not gonna have the nicety, just these touches. We've got a power entry step here. 
It's nothing you haven't seen in a motorhome, but in many homes it's a lot less common. And that's what you're going to find uh, a lot of here on the uh, on the Melbourne, is those little touches, those nice things. Um, I want to point out real quick, the, the like things like the fabric schemes we're looking at here, they may vary um, in, in comparison from this video to the unit we have in stock. We are a high volume Jayco dealer, so not every single Melbourne we have looks exactly like this one, although a lot of them will be probably very similar. Um, so this has Jayco's Dream Dinette system over here, Easy Sleep Dinette. Simply unlock it, and when you're ready to sleep at night, you just push it down into a sleeper position. When you're done, lift it right back up, and you're camping. That's all there is to it, and you just reset the lock. There's no beams, no nothing to get in the way. I got big, long chicken legs, man. I need room under here, and this gives it to me. I, this is also something I thought was really neat. If you look under here, you can kind of see... Uh, all the big storage that we have going on as well as the fact that like the extra time and care they take the way This is routed out nice and uh, a clean radius on the corners. I've seen a lot of manufacturers I swear it's like the guy takes a claw hammer and digs out the holes under the baggage doors But you don't think about it when you're buying it because it's got this nice pretty door on the front now uh, Rear facing seat belts are something Jayco doesn't have to put in here But you have to understand when you include something like a seat belt you now open yourself up to an entire world of federal regulations. That seatbelt can't just be there for fun. It has to perform on minimum safety standards. Jayco tests all their products to make sure that they uh, at least exceed that by 10%. Everything in here is at least 10% greater than the minimum uh, federal safety requirements uh, are, are in place for. So it is made for uh, your family's safety. I like the fact that all your overhead doors are metal strutted, not plastic. Well, the fact that they even have struts is better than a lot of trailers. And I love, love the look of that. That is a very sharp looking uh, wood tone. Um, before we get down to the uh, the area down here, let's take a look up at our, our, our Coleman Mac AC system here. Um, you know, again, a small coach like this, a centralized area of this strength and capacity, it will easily keep you cool in here that is just not an issue whatsoever um let's see what else was i gonna there oh led lights up here in the ceiling i almost forgot about that this has all led interior lighting too and notice that we have two banks of led lighting so that we have good quality uh luminosity in here and windows in the in in the um nose cap that's something a lot of manufacturers are not doing i've had people on the outside say why is there only a window on this side but not the other that's because we have this giant Furion uh, television built right in here. It's on this big swing arm mounted on the wall, so you can make it face pretty much anywhere you want in the living room. Now, Furions are sweet. It is high-grade stuff. It's made to just have the life shaken out of it without failing. That's exactly what it's made for. It is high-durability marine and RV use. Um, above your uh, cab, they have these handy little map pockets up here, and it's just these little details that you don't think about in so many other brands. Um, your uh what i what i was really impressed with this let me see if i can try to put this into frame a lot of class c's are hard to get into this is the biggest most spacious class c cab i've ever been in this is i am 6'3 i am a big guy i'm a very tall person and i have all that leg room i was comfortable in this before now i can slide the seat back further i mean this is this is actually far enough back i'm not comfortable i need to pull this forward to be at a, a normal minimal comfort level for a tall guy like me. That's how big this is. Sitting here in the driver's seat, the view is amazing. You have, I mean, great viewing going on. And now this giant window, I like this giant window from the outside from the aesthetics point, but sitting here in the driver's seat and looking out, I can easily see if there's a car there um, in a blind spot. Although considering both mirrors uh, have these handy little blind spot detectors, I don't think that's going to be an issue either. Um, again, I, I love these handy little pockets because I can't tell you how often I'm driving on. I just need to get something out of my way. Get it out of my hands and that'll do it. Um, the, uh, you know, uh, the transmission system here on the Mercedes chassis, the, the ride, the, uh, the experience that it gives you, you, the moment you shift into gear and put your foot on the pedal, your adventure begins. That's the difference to me between this coach, this Melbourne right here, and a towable RV. And I'm a towable RV person. Don't get me wrong. I love them. But... My, my camping doesn't start until I get to my destination. In this thing, the moment I put my hand on that wheel, the adventure just began, you know? And I mean, you can see, Jayco, 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 we are a big time Jayco motorized dealer. I've, we represent all their brands. 
Uh, very happy with them, but this is something special. This is so cool. I love this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's start moving back toward the rest of the coach. We looked at the dinette and whatnot. We looked at the AC. Above the kitchen area here, you have this giant fan system. Uh, if you don't want to turn on your air conditioner and you want to cool it off a little bit, that fan will get the job done. Again, strutted overhead doors. You see how they hold themselves open so you don't got to juggle them open with your head. This is cute. This is really cute. Um, you know, I mean, it's it, one, this is real wood. That's not just cheap plastic. That's classy. That just has that, like, Italian pizza kitchen feel to it, you know. But just a giant big basin radius sink. It's huge, and you don't even think about that. Not to mention, who doesn't like a little pull-out sprayer? This is something that we've seen in a lot of coaches, and I love the space efficiency. It gives you the cooker when you need it, but that glass top gives you countertop space when you don't. We've got good drawer space here, two giant drawers in the kitchen, as well, I mean, you can actually keep a trash can under here. I, I get it, I get so annoyed when I see things where I can't even put a trash can in the kitchen. It doesn't make sense. Um, let's see, uh, what is this? Is that an eight or 10 cubic foot fridge? I'll have to check my spec sheet, hold on. I, uh, I've seen so many of these things, I have a hard time remembering all of them. Oh, that's a six, pardon me. Oh, they've got it mounted high. It looked it looked a little bit bigger to me. Okay, so six cubic foot refrigerator freezer, but even still, in a mini home class, uh, you often get like a five. It's it's nice to see the separate fridge and freezer going on in there. Um, the, where was I going with this? I lost my train of thought. That refrigerator threw me off. Okay, we're right here. Let's look at the bathroom. Um, I do like the fact that that toilet is set a little bit higher. That does help folks that maybe have had knee or back problems or something like that. Um, not to mention the fact that even without lights on in here, between the window, the fan, uh, and the actual skylight, it's very bright in here. But hey, you also got LED lights here in the bathroom. You also have tank heaters. This has um, tank heat, uh, heating units so that if you are uh, camping where it's a little bit frosty, let's say you're going through an altitude change and it gets colder on you quicker than you expected. No worries, man. Um, before we get in the uh, bedroom, let's take a look at this gigantic... Oh. I forgot. This has a convection oven. I forgot to talk about that when I was in the kitchen. This has a big, giant storage pocket going on right here. And this is a very standardized um, storage module that they use in a lot of their Jayco motorhomes. And I love it. It is huge. It is multifunctional. You can put anything and everything you ever imagined in it. Especially this upper closet. You got a little broom or something like that. This is the perfect place to put all those things. Easy. Well, not to mention, there's no carpet. This is easy to keep clean. Super easy. All of your drawers, I'm sure you've noticed, are plywood box constructed. That is to be expected from Jayco. I still see some stuff in these mini homes with wrapped drawers, and that really shocks me that people are still building like that. But I think it's because some folks maybe just don't know. There's power outlets over here, um, and you perfect little spot. You can just slide a little CPAP down in there. You've got a dedicated CPAP stand on this side. Extra big window for cross breezes, not to mention three windows built right here, just in the bed slide out, so you can get good airflow in there. This is a serious contact. Ooh, ooh, floating style mirror. Check that out. I just noticed that. Big, beautiful floating style uh, mirrored medicine cabinet. Um, you know, there's uh, there's one ugly thing in this trailer, me. But other than that, everything's fine. I, this is gorgeous. This is fun. You're, I mean, this is just summertime cruising fun right here. Where this would be awesome, this coach, you just get in it one night, drive, and wherever you land, you're home. And this coach can get you there. That's what's cool. Um, give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.